lambica io, c'è mismo, ora mismo, la lambica io, c'è mismo, ora mismo, la lambica io. All right, okay, welcome to Super Rich God, the voice of God. Today, our topic is the power of believing. I want to talk to you today about the power of believing. One of the greatest abilities God has given each one of us is our ability to believe. If you believe, you can be successful. If you believe, you can overcome mistakes of the past. If you believe, you can fulfill your God-given destiny. There is incredible power in what we believe. What you believe is greater than what the medical report says. Of course, we respect medical science, but God has the final say. When you get in agreement with God and believe what He says about you, then what you believe can supersede any natural law. What you believe is greater than what is in your bank account. Hallelujah! I have a friend that come to this country with nothing but a cloth on his back. Today, uh, he ran, this is a testimony of somebody, okay, that we quote about. He ran a Fortune 500 company now. Against all odds, he believed he could do what God put in his heart. Paul prayed in Ephesians 1.19, that we would understand the incredible greatness of God's power for those who believe. Notice the power is only activated when we believe. That means right now the creator of the universe is just waiting to release healing, restoration, favor, promotion, abundance. The only cuts is we have to believe. Say, I believe. I think about Mary, the mother of Christ. When she was a teenager, the angel came to her and said, You are going to have a child without knowing a man. Her first thought was, That's, that's impossible. That's never happened before. That's defied the laws of nature. She said to the angel, How can this be? He answered back, The Spirit of the Lord will come on you and cause it to happen. I love the way Mary responded. She did, didn't argue with him. She didn't try to talk herself out of it. She simply said, Be it unto me, even as you have said. In other words, let it happen. I'm a believer. I am in agreement with God. Shout hallelujah. Sometime, just like with Mary, God will put a promise in your heart that seems impossible. A promise that says, you are going to be well. You are going to start a business. You are going to meet the right person and get married. It's easy to think. It is never going to happen to me, Joel. I have been this way too long. I have made too many mistakes. The medical report is too bad. Nobody in my family has been successful. Hallelujah. On and on we could all come up with excuses. But I'm asking us to do like Mary. Instead of talking yourself out of it, just respond with three simple words. Lord, I believe. Can we say that together? Lord, I believe. God says, your children will be mighty in the land. Lord, I believe. God says, He's going to restore the years that were stolen. He's going to bring you to a flourishing penis. Lord, I believe. God says, whatever you touch will prosper and succeed. You will lend and not borrow the head and never the tail. And all the people say, yes, Lord. I believe. Hallelujah. Now, don't come up with five reasons why that's not going to happen. Your response should be, Lord, I believe. When you get in agreement with God, the incredible greatness of His 
power is activated. Amen? In this scripture, a man came to Jesus and said, My little daughter is very sick. She is close to death. Will you come to my home and pray for her? Jesus agreed. But along the way, he kept getting stopped one interruption after another. Finally, word came back to him saying, No need to come. You have waited too late. The little girl has died. The people were upset, very distraught. But Jesus said to them, In Luke 8.50, Don't be afraid. If you only believe, the little girl will be well. Amen. Today I declare, whatever thing, difficulty that is happening to you right now, today I decree and I declare, as you say, Lord, I believe, it will happen and it shall happen now at this time in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Notice the praise. Only believe. Jesus went to the home, prayed for the little girl, and she came back to life. But you too may be facing situations that seem impossible. In the natural, you don't see how you could get well, how you could overcome the addiction, how your family could ever be restored. But God is saying to you what He said to them. If you will only believe, I will turn the situation around. If you only believe, Breakthroughs are headed your way. Friends, it's not complicated. God di- didn't say, if you will pray 20 hours a day, if you will quote 12 chapters in the scripture, then I'll do it for you. No. He said, if you will only believe in other words, if you will just get your mind going in the right direction and believe you can rise higher, believe you can overcome the obstacle, believe your family can be restored, Believe you can do something great and make your mark in this generation. When you believe, the surpassing greatness of God's power is released in your life. But some of you, you are going to have to develop new habit. If you have been negative for a long time, you have got to restrain your thinking from I cannot to I can. From it won't happen to it will happen. Amen? From I will never get well to God is restoring health unto me. From I never get any good break to God's favor surround me like a shield. From I have made too many mistakes, I'm all washed up. To I'm redeemed, I'm forgiven, my best days are still out in front of me. Hallelujah. You have got to reprogram your computer. L- load in some new software. It may be look impossible, like it's over and done. But if you will be a believer, God will do for you what He did for His family. God will resurrect dead dreams. He will resurrect a dead relationship. God can resurrect what you thought was dead and bring those things back to life. Today, I decree again, now at this moment, active, I activate my faith with your faith. Today, hallelujah, all dead things in your life come alive in Jesus' name. Your dead bank account come alive. Your dead financial, uh, your dead financial come alive in the name of Jesus. Your health is restored. Your wealth is restored. Your money is restored. Your family, your, your love is restored in Jesus' name. And finally, your dream is resurrected right now. You will dream again in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm trying to talk to you in today to being a believer and not a doubter. It doesn't matter how bad it looks. How many people have told you no? How long it's been that way? Listen. God has the final say. It's not over till God says it's over. He controls the whole universe. Nothing that's happened to you is a surprise to God. No disappointment, no injustice, no failure. God saw it and He wants to take what was meant for your harm, huh? for your harm and use it to your advantage. Amen. As the saying goes, They intended to harm you, but God intended it for good. Amen? Now, 
You have got to shake off the self-pity. Shake off the disappointment. Let go of what didn't work out and press forward into the new beginning God has in store. Friends, God has you in the palm of His hand. His plan for you are for good to promote you, to heal you, to restore you, to show you His favor. You may not see how it can happen, but lean not to your own understanding. The scripture says, that means just because you don't see a way doesn't mean God doesn't have a way. Amen? But here is the whole key today. Nothing will happen unless you believe. God has this incredible power, favor, healing, promotion, restoration. But it's only activated when we believe. I'm asking you to believe that this is your year. Hallelujah. 2022, 222, that is double, double, double. Believe that every negative situation, God is turning it into your, in your favor. Believe that good breaks are headed your way. Believe that your future will be brighter than your past. Hallelujah. In 1 Chronicles 28, 20 says, Don't be discouraged by the size of the task, for the Lord your God is with you. He will see to it that it is finished completely. Notice when you believe God will see to it that it's taken care of when you believe you have the creator of the universe fighting your battles, arranging things in your paper, going before you, moving the wrong people out of the way. You couldn't have made it happen in your own strength. But because you are a believer, the surpassing greatness of God's power is at work in your life. Hallelujah. Now, don't be intimidated by the size of the problem. The size of your dream. Don't let that convince you to stop believing. Well, Joel, I got laid off and you just don't know my financial situation. No. No. But I do know Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. He is still on the throne. One touch of God's favor and you will go from barely making it to having more than enough. Well, you just don't know my medical situation. It doesn't look good. No, but I don't know. Jehovah Rapa, the Lord our healer, has not lost his power. He has done it in the past. He can do it in the future. Well, Joel... I've got big dream, but I don't know the right people. I don't have the connections. That's okay. God does. You have friends in high places. Hallelujah. When you believe, God will bring the right people across your path. Don't be intimidated by the size of what you are facing. Hear what I have learned. The bigger the problem, the bigger your destiny. Amen. This enemy would not be fighting you so hard unless he knew God had something amazing in your future. Hallelujah. On the other side of that challenge is a new level of your destiny. The good news is when you believe God is when you believe. God promises he will bring it to pass. Shout hallelujah. Let me assure you, nothing can stand against our God. No disappointment, no setback. No injustice, no person, no hater, no jealousy when you believe. All the forces of darkness cannot stop God from taking you where He wants you to go. Be a believer and not a doubter. It says in the book of Hebrews, when we come to God, we must believe that He is. It is interesting. It doesn't really finish the scripture. Believe that He is what? It leaves it open-ended. This, this is saying, when you believe God becomes whatever you need Him to be, He is strength when you are weak. He is healing when you are sick. He is favor when you need a good break. He is a way maker when you don't see a way. He is restoration when something has been stolen. He is vindication when you have been falsely accused. He is whatever you need Him to be. Shout hallelujah. Many of you know God by one name. 
you know him as a savior and that's great that's the most important way but you need to find out what else he is do you know him as a resurrection god a god that can bring back to life what you thought was dead do you know, do you know him as an epish as in epician 320 god a god who can do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond do you know him as a healer a restorer a god who gives beauty for ashes hallelujah you may have gone through hurts and disappointment and people did you wrong but you don't have to live defeated depressed in self pity no god want to heal the hurts give you a new beginning bring you out better off than you were before but you have got to know him as a god who gives beauty for ashes friend there is so much more to our god don't keep him in the little box discover what else he is always remember my brother and sister this verse in isaiah 310 says Say to the righteous, it shall be well with you. You may go through some difficulties. People may do you wrong. But because you are a believer, it shall be well with you. You, you lost your job? Yes. But another job is coming. It shall be well with you. The medical report doesn't look good. Yes. But we have another report. It shall be well with you. Well, You say, Joel, I have been praying, believing for this situation to change for a long time, but I don't see anything happen happening. No, just like with this uh, testimony, God is working behind the scene right now, arranging things in your favor. The answer is already on the way. It's just a matter of time before it show up. It shall be well with you. I like to think of it like setting the temperature on a the thermostat you set the temperature to 72 degrees now it may be 96 degrees in the room for all from where you set it you could go to the thermostat and think this isn't working it's not matching up no you don't worry about it you know it's just a matter of time before the temperature in the room matches the temperature that you have set In the same way, we should set our thermostat on what God say about us. God say you will learn and not borrow. I'm setting my thermostat right there. That's what I'm choosing to believe. Now, right now, I may be far from that. I may be far in the depth, but that's okay. I'm not worried. As long as I got my thermostat set, as long as I keep believing, keep honoring God, keep being my best. I know it's just a matter of time before the condition in my life match up to the condition in my thinking. God is a faithful God. Now, we should set our thermostat. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You may have a child that is 32 degrees, a son that is 140 degrees out there living wild. It doesn't matter. As long as your thermostat is set, you are not worried, you are not frustrated, you don't have to live wondering if it's going to change. You know God is in complete control. When he sees you have a made up mind that your thermostat you are thinking is set on his promises, on faith, on restoration, on healing, on victory. That's when God goes to work. It may not happen overnight, but God is faithful. He will do what he promised. Some of you today, you need to readjust your thermostat. At one time, you believed to do something great. You believed to start that business. You believed you you beat that addiction, but it didn't happen on your time timetable. You got discouraged and you ended up giving up. But God is saying, reset the thermostat. Start believing once again. Believe you can live free from pain. Believe you can move into that nice, nicer home. Believe God is bringing the right people across your path. Keep the thermostat set. Have a made-up mind. When it gets cold, gets cold. 
When it gets hot, stay in faith. This is what God says about me. I am blessed. I will live and not die. My children will be mighty in the land. My latter day will be greater than my former days. Shout hallelujah. Now you may not see anything happening week after week, month after month, maybe even year after year. It doesn't matter. Some even reach their old age already. Our attitude is, my thermostat is set. I'm not moved by what I see, by what I feel, by what people tell me. I'm moved by what I know. And I know when I believe the incredible greatness of God's power is activated. I know when I believe strongholds are broken, favor, healing, promotion, restoration, they are coming my way. Amen. Hallelujah. In the scripture, a man by the name of Ezekiel was facing an impossible situation. There were these dead bones in a valley that God had promised would come back to life. Dead bones represent dreams and gold that we don't think will come to pass. God had the power to bring these dead bones to life, but God needed a person who believed so he could war through them. God said to Ezekiel, Do you believe that this dead bone can live? Isn't it interesting? God wanted to know what Ezekiel believed. Ezekiel could have reasoned it out and say, God, the bones are dead. I don't see how that's going to happen. In other words, the medical report doesn't look good. God, business is slow. This is a big problem. I can imagine God said, Ezekiel, I am not asking you all of that. All I want to know is, do you believe? All at once, Ezekiel shout, shook off the doubt, and he said in effect, Lord, I believe. The Spirit of God come on him. He started prophesying, and somehow, some way, those dead bones come back to life. But God is asking us what he asked Ezekiel. Do you believe you can live a blessed, prosperous, successful life? I've got the power. I'm just looking for someone who believes. Do you believe God can turn the situation around? Do you believe you can overcome mistake of the past? Friend, when you get in agreement with God and believe, that allowed God to release the incredible greatness of His power. Hallelujah. Sometimes you have to have even now faith. Say, even now faith. Where you say, God, it looks impossible. It looks like it's over and done. But I know you are a supernatural God. And I believe even now, you can turn my finances around. Even now, you can heal my body. Even now, you can restore this relationship. Mary and Martha shook up the doubt. Did you remember that story of Mary and Martha? And they started believing once again. You know the story. Jesus raised Lazarus from dead. What, in, what is interesting is back in those days, the Sadducees, these were some of the people that were against Jesus. They believed that the spirit left the body on the third day after a person died. It was a coincidence that God waited for the fourth day to show up. Jesus waited on purpose so that when he raised Lazarus, there wouldn't be any doubt about it. They would know that It was a great miracle. Sometimes God will wait on, a, on purpose, not only so you will know that it's His power, but so you, your doubter, your naysayers, so your unbelieving relatives would then be able to deny that God has done something amazing in your life. At first, Mary and Martha were disappointed because Jesus did not show up in time to heal Lazarus. They were disappointed that their prayer didn't get answered in the way they wanted. But all along, God knew what He was doing. God wasn't planning a healing. He was planning something better. He was planning a resurrection. Hallelujah! Just because you believe and it didn't work out your way on your timetable doesn't mean that it's over. It means just the opposite. God is planning something better. 
You believe and you didn't get the promotion. You believe and you didn't qualify for the new home. Keep believing. God has something better coming. You believe but your child hasn't turned around. Keep believing. God, God is going to use your children in a great way. You believe. Huh? But 2022 hasn't been that great so far. Keep believing. It's not over. God is still on the throne. Even now, God can still turn it around. After Jesus raised Lazarus, He said to Mary and Martha, Did I not tell you, if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? You may have plenty of reason to be discouraged, depressed, negative, but God is saying, if you will only believe, you will see my power in new ways. Make up your mind. You are going to be a believer and not a doubter. Keep the thermostat set. You may not see how it can happen, but that's not your job. Your job is just to believe. Know this, right now, behind the scene, God is working in your life, arranging things in your favor. Don't be intimidated by the size of what you are facing. Stay in faith and the Lord your God will make sure that it come to pass. Get this down in your spirit. Because you are a believer, all will be well with you. All will be well with your family. All will be well with your finances. All will be well in your health. All will be well with your career. My brother and sister, you need to get ready because God's promises are about to come to pass in your life. It may not have happened in the past on your timetable. That's because God is not planning a healing. He is planning a resurrection. It's going to be better, bigger, greater than you have ever imagined. Be a believer. Take the limits off of God. Keep your faith stirred up. I believe and declare you are going to see God's goodness in amazing way. Hallelujah. Let's bow down. Let's pray together. Our Abba Father, our super rich God, the creator of heaven and earth. Yes, thank you for giving us your son, only son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross as a ransom to pay for our sin. Holy Spirit, thank you for directing us. Thank you for, for, for guiding us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for teaching us. Today, we learn about believing in you. No, Lord, yes, now we believe that great thing is waiting for us. Yes, we believe today because you believe all things, all your dreams, all about your finance, about your family, about your, your health today because you believe. Receive your healing. Receive your favor from God. Receive abundant life in Jesus' name. God bless you. In Jesus' name, everybody say, Amen. God bless you. And see you again next week. Ahora mismo la lápiz soy yo